From the Newswire, my name is Phoenix with a recent announcement of Canadian siblings who are trying to carve a niche in the sport board industry. From Vancouver to speak on this is one of the siblings, Justin Schroen. Hey Phoenix, Swimboard is a revolutionary new kind of aquatic sports board that will change the world of human aquatics. That may sound like a lot, but it's true. It's very small, very light, and it's designed around you. It's designed around the human body to empower you in the world like you've never felt before. So basically, wherever you want to go in the water, whether it's the beach, the lake, the river, wherever, this is the board for you. Easy to own, easy to buy, easy to learn. Swimbird is attractive to a lot of people, or is it going to be? What makes this so attractive to consumers? What makes it so attractive is that most people love the water. And swimming, you know, when I say swimming, I mean playing in the water, is the number two human activity of all after going for a walk. People love the water, even if they're a bit, uh, if they're, even if they're a little bit nervous, most people are fascinated with the water. But they haven't got time to learn surfing and supping, and they haven't got the space for kayaks and all that kind of thing. When, especially on vacation, Phoenix, they just want to get out there and experience the water and be free. And this board, you know, it's three foot two for a man-sized board, eight pounds, pick it up with two fingers, and you learn it in less than five minutes, and you're off. You use dive fins, and you can just go. It's absolute freedom in the water. So from an investor's point of view, because a lot of investors are asking this question, um, how big is the market for Swimbird? Why should they really care? Well, there's 7 billion people on the planet, and most of them love the water. The key points with this is you've got a great product, but what's key is that it is thoroughly patented, and I do mean that thoroughly. We spent all of our, our capital initially on the intellectual property. The market is massive because it's accessible uh, price-wise and ease of ownership wise to everyone if you can pop it in the trunk the, uh, your dad can buy for the whole family for the cottage for the same price as a couple of paddle boards you know and uh, it's flexibility of use and the fact that it makes you feel great like i mean it really makes you feel uh, more powerful in the water than you can you'd ever dream possible like you're almost a part of the water. I mean, there's yeah. there's some great videos that you have on your website, and I encourage anyone who is listening to this right now and watching this to join and take a look at the website because you'll see some incredible videos. But near-term milestones for Swimbird, because the other question, the follow-up will be, when is this product available? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, the, the, the two are connected. Near term, the, the biggest near-term milestone is the completion of the first molds. The, bold, the boards are being manufactured through an OEM agreement with Tahi Sports in France, the number one board making company in the West. This is a quality product, Phoenix, quality, uh, light and strong, very durable. We all, all know how boards get treated in Canada. You know, well, you can toss this thing around. The near, when that mold is completed, the first 50 boards will be pulled to be tested very, very thoroughly. That, we're, we're anticipating May, April, so April, May there. And then the boards, uh, once we've done that, they're, they're, all those boards are going to go out into the world, um, uh, get pre-sales. But that is the next near-term milestone. And from that, of course, the, 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 uh, the closing of deals and then the full-scale manufacture starting in December. It's exciting stuff from Vancouver, BC. That is just Justin Schroen. He is one of the three brothers who are excited about carving their own niche in the sport board industry. From the Newswire, my name is Phoenix.